Hi everybody, it's Dandro with your news cartridge for Tuesday, May 3rd, 2016. Beginning today with a gaming birthday. Forza Motorsport released exactly 11 years ago. Happy birthday, Forza. Overwatch's beta started again yesterday. I love it! But the game is missing its competitive mode. Blizzard says they tried to have it ready, but ultimately it still needed more work. Something else missing from a game, the Division's daily missions have disappeared again. Ubisoft says they're looking into a more permanent solution. The game Game VVV VVV has been pulled from Nintendo's 3DS eShop for containing an exploit to facilitate hacking the 3DS hardware. Once patched, it will return to the store. Carmageddon max damage for PS4 and Xbox One has been delayed until July 8th. Dishonored 2 has a release date, and November 11th, 2016, it will release for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Another release date coming up is Terraria for Wii U on June 28th. And finally for teasers, Rock Band 4 has had an update which brings uh, a bunch of bug fixes and double kick drum support. Let's find out who this is today on News Cartridge. Today's top story is this picture. It's possible that this is a leak of the main character from Watch Dogs 2. It was posted by a motion capture actor who is also rumored to be the actor for the character and included the hashtag Watch Dogs 2. As you see, he's holding a gun at a cell phone while covering his face, the same look as Aiden Pierce, the main character from Watch Dogs. Nothing has been confirmed yet, so it might be best to take this all with a grain of salt. Let me know who you think this is in the comment section down below. Up next, another trailer as Warhammer 40k Dawn of War 3 has been announced and is coming in 2017. I've played the Warhammer 40k tabletop game before and I played the Blood Angels, the human army that's shown in this trailer. They're known as much for their honor as they are for their literal thirst for blood. Two other armies from the 40k universe make appearances, the Orcs and the Dark Eldar. This is a great example of how both the tabletop game and the video games play. Tons of stuff going on all at the same time, tons of blood blood, tons of carnage, and no mercy. No gameplay is shown, it's all CGI, but if you're a Warhammer fan like me, then this will get you excited. To see the full trailer, and it's pretty long, see the description down below, as well as links for sources for all of today's stories. In the quick spot today, more news about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. It turns out the remaster of Modern Warfare will not be available separately, which is a real shame and more disappointment coming as this is the first Call of Duty to only be on current generation consoles. No PS3 or Xbox 360 version will be created. This could get those slash stragglers to finally upgrade to the current gen. For more on Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, stay tuned to News Cartridge. Our final story is about Tracer from Overwatch, but not in her native game. She's going to get nerfed because she's just a powerhouse in Heroes of the Storm. Her health bar will be lowered as well as her rate of regeneration, and the cooldown for her recall ability will be increased. It seems the ability to run backwards while shooting made her a little too good. And then in other Heroes of the Storm news, Blizzard has teased that a dragon will have a role in their MOBA, but they haven't said which one. The obvious choice would be Deathwing, but a Reddit user says that it's a female dragon, specifically Electriza. Deathwing is male. Who do you think the dragon is? Let me know in the comment section down below. And now, tomorrow's game releases for PC, Cyber City 2157, the visual novel, and Escape This. Thank you very much, everybody. This has been News Cartridge. I am Dandruff. I'll see you tomorrow. And what do you get with 200 Gorons from The Legend of Zelda in the same room? An IQ of about 50.